Whether it's a cold soda or a hot coffee, drinking a beverage can affect the temperature readings taken by oral electronic thermometers, anywhere from one to two degrees. Research led by University of Virginia Health System nurses shows that it can take as long as 23 minutes for body temperatures to return to normal. There's many factors that can make it complicated. Um, many variables impact the accuracy of a temperature. Things such as chewing, smoking, exercising, as well as eating and drinking, particularly eating and drinking uh, foods and beverages that have a hot or a cold consistency. As nurses, Beth Quatrara and Tricia Jenkins take temperature readings on a regular basis. As researchers, they discovered that their findings can improve the way they care for patients. Well, as a nurse, we need to stay on top of a patient's vital signs. Their temperature is one of the most important vital signs because in our population specifically, we have patients who have just had surgery and uh, temperature is an important indication of an infection. So um, we take temperatures many times a day, every day, in order to stay on top of that. To get their results, the nursing research team placed volunteers in a climate-controlled room. They measured their height, weight, and normal baseline body temperature. When the volunteers drank cold beverages, it took 15 minutes for their temperatures to return to normal. When the volunteers drank hot beverages, it took 23 minutes to return to normal. The greatest implication is it reduces the guessing game. We will more consistently have accurate temperatures because now we know that if you drink a cold beverage, you should wait 15 minutes to recheck the temperature. And if you drink something hot, we should wait 23 minutes. So on average, we're telling clinicians to wait 30 minutes. Work like theirs not only improves patient care, but also adds to the overall quality of hospital nursing programs, something indicated by the health system's recently gained nurse magnet status, a symbol of excellence. I'm Abina Foreman reporting. Oh, wait, you're going to want this one here in high